Hey everybody, and welcome to the next uh, Flame Quick Tip. Now this one's going to be on using uh, the Move UV Vertex um, modifier in action to um, to manipulate um, by cubics and UVs. Um, mainly for the reason that um, in the last two years, I've seen people still use the old way of um, doing UVs, and I don't know if it's just a fact that um, people aren't aware of it or they've tried it and it didn't work for them. So um, I thought it was worth pointing out because it's a it's a cool feature that's um, quite specific to flame and um prior to it was uh to be honest a pain in the ass where you had to do a really stupid workaround just to um extend it by cubic a certain part of a surface so in this example um let's just say we want to extend out and that's that's a really real example of something you'd want to do with by cubic sometimes you just want to extend part of the um the clip out so let's just go into a, a batch effects and again like you're going to have bigger batches in this but this is just for you know, simplicity's sake, just to kind of get the, the point across. So what usually will happen is, um, you know, someone will try and kind of extend this out and their first inkling will be, okay, I'm going to go to surface, extend it by cubic, vertices, I'm going to subdivide it until I have, maybe not that much, I'll undo, subdivide to there, and then they'll pull this out. So select it. They'll pull this part out and then they'll pull it down. And that's how they'll do their, um, their little extension, right? Um, you jump out, we render that and see how long that takes. I mean, it's not super long, but again, like keep in mind it's it's subdividing and calculating everything um, you know in that in that area. you know it's it's there's a lot of stuff going on just to kind of move move those pixels. And again, like this is just something that was the old way, but you know, since I think two thousand and sixteen, I might be wrong, but there's a way easier way to do this. so, Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull out an action, drop that in. Um, just pull out the back and go to F4. I'm going to go to Object, and then I'm going to go to um, Perspective. This is how I like to do it. And I'm just going to select those guys and go to Move UV Vertex, and we go to Vertices, and pull down in the Y. And you see now we can dial in just where we want, and that's kind of good. So I'm going to go to Extended by Cubic now. I'm going to go to Vertices and Subdivide, and now if I... If I grab those and then using the vertices, pull them, oops, my bad. Um, that's because I was using move UV. So I have to go back to select mode now after that. And now I can actually pull that down and extend it out. And it's quite quick. And if I jump out and then render, it doesn't, admittedly, it doesn't look that much quicker right now. But um, trust me, when you have a heavier comp, it's going to be a lot quicker. And the other thing to note too is when you have a heavier comp, um, what's going to kind of be more annoying and intimidating and, and trying to get your head around, um, you know, a guy like this or a guy like this where you know exactly what's going on. Um, now, there is another way to, um, to do this. Um, I personally prefer the, um, the Move UV Vertex way, um, but um, there is also a bug too worth noting. So if I do go to um, and make this into the object and then go to the surface and go perspective, um, when I first go to move UV, ver UV vertex, sometimes, see it does this. Um, that's just a bug I've picked up on sometimes that occurs. And the only way to remedy it is just selecting move UV ver vertex again, and then it goes away. So that's just worth noting because that, that can happen, and maybe that's what shied people away from it. But for this example, um, the other way to do it, but I, I personally prefer this, like the other way, the move UV vertex, which I just showed. But the other way is if we go to um, object, and then we'll go perspective, and I press F8, um, double click on that and go F8. Now we're in the um, the object surface mode. So F8 is, um, again, this is like a pre-UV transform. So now if I select these and go to UV points and pull down, and now we look at the output, you see what it's doing. Um, and all you do just to do the same thing is just go to vertices. And now we've got the same thing we did when we did just move UV vertex using vertices. Um, again, super handy for, for little things like that where you want to extend stuff out because again you don't have to take into account the whole surface but then uh, the, the the main thing because again this is the most simple example but um you know it's not always like that as as you know as things go with um post-production but um for this example imagine imagine we get into a more intricate shape that we want to play around with and finesse and we need to have finite kind of control over so that's where this makes sense too so if i go back to object and go to perspectives. Let's just say we want to kind of warp this specific area. Um, and this isn't taking into account tracking and stuff like that. If you want to see a tracking one, let me know in the comments. 
um, and how I deal with that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to pull that over. And again, there's that little bug. So I'm going to go move UV and now it works. So let's just say I'm going to square up the area I know I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to pull that over, pull that over. So I really want to kind of, let's say the client wanted this to be more refined in a certain area. So now I know that's kind of in the area I'm, I'm working with. And I'm going to go from perspective to extended. I'm going to go to vertices. And the other thing I could start with um, straight with uh, extended by cubic and then I could go vertices and then turn on auto adjust. But I've actually found a bug with auto adjust where you select it after the fact and then it jumps to a weird position. And it, it's, I don't know, I, I haven't run into that problem when I do the um, perspective way, um, just, just for what it's worth. I mean, that bug might've been squashed with 2019, but this is, I'm still 2018.3 right now. So, you know, your results may vary. So I'm gonna go to uh, vertices subdivide and just with the first subdivision, um, I'm gonna see if that works with auto adjust, just to see. Um, so I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna kind of line it up closer to the profile of this, this line here. So I'm just gonna pull that over, pull that over. And then I'm just gonna pull this whole bit over, pull it over somewhere there. And that's the thing with um, bicubics is it's more, it's more a case of not just uh, helping someone else out with a cleaner setup, it's a case of also helping yourself out because it can get kind of pretty messy pretty quick with bicubics. And that's, again, there's been so much great work that went into the merge and subdivide and these new UV, well, it's not new, but you know, to a lot of people it might be because they, it might've just kind of slipped by them. Um, so I'm gonna do that, subdivide again. And again, this is where we can kind of be a bit more finite and tune that in. Again, this is all thanks to the Move UV Vertex, which you had to toggle twice, just, just cause. Okay, so let's say that was, that was good. Now, if I go back into Spacebar M or Select Mode, now if we move this, you can see, actually I'll subdivide one more time. So we've got the middle part. So say we could just go, Let's pull this part up just a little here. And you see we have this fine control, which using the old, you know, the old tried and true way was not, not that simple. And to be honest, most of the time you do have to break down a full grid and do the whole thing. So the fact that we can do this in a very, you know, refined way is, is you know, quite good. And, you know, one of the, you know, a very important part of Flame that, you know, often goes underlooked and, you know, was a, was a huge change that happened and again, I'm only doing this this uh, quick tip because the amount of setups I've seen that don't even try to use this at all um, just kind of boggles my mind because it's such a really handy feature. And hopefully um, just seeing how it is and how simple it is to use, um, you guys will use it too. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, I hope it was useful. Stay tuned for more.